Hey guys, it's Elle. So I made a mini vending machine yesterday out of a cereal box, which is really cool. And I wanted to show you guys how it worked. I was gonna make a tutorial video on how to make it, but since I just learned yesterday, I wasn't 100% sure um, if I was like doing it correctly. But yeah, I want to show you guys how my mini vending machine works. And it actually is really cool. And it was so much fun to decorate. So if you want, I can make a tutorial video on a different one. But yeah, let's get started. I just wanna show you guys how it works. So this is the vending machine I made and I'm actually really proud of it. I was gonna add a little like a button thing here so it wasn't open, but I messed it up so I'm gonna add that later. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I decorated mine gold and black. I really like the colors. I think they look really cool. But yeah, um, my machine right now is going to be for little rainbow and bracelets. So let me just show you like the full machine before we add them in. So this is where you insert the coins and I'm using fake money. So I just have this money here. So I'm gonna insert it there. And then here is where you push for your prize. This is what you turn to get your prize. And this is what the inside looks like. I can actually open it from the back, which I think is really cool. This is what the back looks like actually. And this is like the little scoop thing that um, scoops them down into here. But yeah, this is the box um, that separates the coin slot thing and um, where the prizes come out of. But the prizes just sit on top of here. And this is a little bit um, not very sturdy because you're supposed to use hot glue, but I use tape because I don't have hot glue at the moment. But um, yeah, the only problem about this machine is that it's a little fragile which is kind of a big problem, but it's super fun to use. I was using it with my brother yesterday and we had a lot of fun. Like most times it dispenses only um, one rainbow loom bracelet, which is cool. But sometimes if you twist it like too many times, then it'll dispense like four of them at once. So let's add in the rainbow looms now to it. So you could add it from the back, which I think most people do, but since you're supposed to put like a plastic cover on this, which I didn't do, I don't have any plastic to put over it. I just kind of, let me do it from up close. I just stick the rubber band things, like, oh. I just put them in, like, here, like this. Let me show you how it works. So, let me put it down a little bit so you guys can see. Okay, so here is my coin, and this is just fake, but you just insert it through here, like that, and then, you twist this, and I was gonna make an arrow going that way just to know, um, just so people would know where, which way to twist it. But you twist it like that, and then you check inside of here, and you have a bracelet. This one's really tiny, but yeah, it's really cool. I'm gonna insert another coin to show you guys. Okay, this one got two, I think I, this thing was messed up. Yeah, the problem is I made the hole too big, so sometimes this thing slides out. So definitely make sure to make your hole um, the perfect size. But yeah, this is super fun. It's not the best quality, obviously, but it's really fun to make and it's really easy to use. And yeah, it does fall apart a little bit, but I think I built it a little bit wrong. So yeah, 